All right, everybody, welcome back to the show. Glad to be here with you today. Excited to get into episode 3045 of the Cabral Concept. This is our Friday review where essentially anything goes. I give you my product review of the week. It's one that literally everybody's been talking about. It's pretty amazing. I think we had about a uh, little over 5 million shares, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, so we'll talk about that. We'll talk about two new research studies for the week and a new cancer-based research paper that I've been working on. It's essentially a compilation of about 25,000 pages of books of study, a thousand plus research studies. It's all completely free, summarized for you. It'll be coming out over the next week or two. And in the meantime, if you're looking for one cancer book that I think is pretty good, that's a good book for general public use, and it's only about 200 pages, uh, we'll get to that today. This is an integrative oncologist-based approach. All right, so let's get into the show. I always love giving you a little bit of a insight into the madness and also magic behind our uh, our integrative health practice here at Equal Life, and also what we have coming up over the next couple of weeks and months. So one thing that I always love to share with you is a little personal side as well. And my my life is so much about my work, my family. I really try to intertwine the two with health and relationships and all the things that we love to be able to do. So for these summer months coming up, this is where we spend it in Maine. You can obviously see my different backdrop here today. I've got an old, old uh, mill-based office that I love having in Maine. There's essentially no heat. There's no air conditioning in this particular office, but it is an amazing space where I also have all of my books, which I love coming back to. So when I talk about, you know, what's the research that I do? What are the books that I use? I have books from literally I have books in the, from the 1800s, published works, some even older, just a couple even older. And then, of course, I have books that I've collected over the past, well, 20, 30 years or so. And all of these books are from my Boston-based office, and now they're all essentially archived here in Maine. So when I come back to my main office, I have thousands of books. I oftentimes show it on Instagram. It's one of my most prized collections, like without a doubt, if I could, uh, you know, if I could only hold on to one thing, it'd be these the 30 years of books that I've really been sitting on. So when I do things like this cancer project outline and, and research, so when I call it a research based study or paper, what I'm doing, what I'm doing is essentially assimilating uh, the brilliance of, of other authors over the past about 150 years. So I've, I've uh, cancer based research work that I've looked at from the 1800s, when there were brilliant uh, biological dentists, there were brilliant uh, doctors from both naturopathy as well as conventional medicine that had a lot more leeway to do the work that we're all interested in, which is really coming up with a cure for cancer. So um, that work will be coming out soon, but uh, this is really where it all starts. And, and that is, if I could twist the camera right now and show you uh, literally thousands upon thousands uh, of books that I've uh, that I've not only, I would say, read, but collected over the years that I can go back to for this particular research. And so excited to be sharing that in just the next week or two. Do look out for that. It will be on social media. Uh, it will be on my website. And certainly I'll be sharing it on the Friday Review. All right, let's get into it, though. If you missed any of the shows from the week, Monday's show, episode 3041, was the five-minute rule that will really begin to change your life for the better. It is something that I've had to institute over this year. Not even necessarily wanted to, but had to institute it in order to move forward with goals of mine that I just that I weren't seeing them come to fruition. I was not seeing any movement in those. And since I want them to happen, I said, all right. We need to begin to institute something called the five-minute rule. Definitely check out that show. That was Monday's show. Tuesday's show was the problem with bottled water. It's not just the plastics. It's the overall process of what is happening uh, with plastics in our society. I'm going to be sharing that. I shared that on Tuesday. So that was Tuesday's show. I'm going to be sharing it next week, which I think is extremely important as well. Just a little research on that. And then two weeks after that, I know you've been probably hearing about this, but phthalates being found in the body. Well, these phthalates are an issue, no doubt about it, but they're mainly used essentially as a plastic softener. So it continues to go back to plastics. I want to give some real world advice on how to remove these better from the body and also what we can do to just simply first eliminate them from our life to the best of our ability. All right. So that was Tuesday's show. Wednesday's show was improving safety 
or satiety, I should say, improving satiety using the second meal effect. This is going back to these Ozempic and GLP-based drugs. What can we do in order to mimic those in our own life without having to resort to pharmaceuticals? This is a big show, something that they are now figuring out called the second meal effect. You'll want to take advantage of this research. And then yesterday's show, episode 3044, was the biggest overlooked benefit of coffee and green tea. And yes, decaf coffee counts. All right, so all these shows can be found at stephencabral.com slash podcast, episode 3041 through 3044. And today, for all the show notes, for all the takeaways, for all the research, for all the product links, head on over to stephencabral.com slash 3045. All right, research for the week, research of, I should say, product for the week that I always love to bring you one particular product that I've been using in my life that I've been reviewing myself and finally putting out there to our global health community. Well, it is one that I've now shared on social media and I shared through email. So hopefully you're on my email newsletter list. I don't send a lot of emails, but I've been I've had that email newsletter list since 2004. So this is going back quite some time. Hundreds of thousands of people get these emails every single week. And I sent one out on what I personally use now for my water filtration and my hydrogen water machine. And that has been shared more than any other social media story I've ever done, which is amazing. But again, you never know. I don't put out social media stories for them to be shared. Like, yes, it's great if you want to share them. I appreciate that, of course. But I don't do social media in order to say, oh, you know, share this and try to get more followers. It's not about that. It is about putting out information that I believe needs to be heard, right? That's that's really what it's all about. But it is always exciting and interesting to see what do people connect with the most. So I shared with people, this is exactly what I do. Like I had to simplify my process. Like, does this filter work? Does not that filter work? Well, this filter works for this many months and then it stops working. So I said, plain and simple, the way that you can purify your water to the highest degree, to not have to worry about the phthalates, the VOCs, the fluoride, the chlorine, is that you just need to filter it all. And that's where the reverse osmosis filter. So does it strip it of minerals? Does it strip it of? Yes, it strips it of basically everything. Okay, but the good news is now you know your kids, your pets, and yourself are no longer exposed to all of the invisibles in the water. I mean, that's the thing. The, your city tests for about 400 different um, toxins or pathogens in your water. They don't test for 4,000. They certainly don't test for 40,000. And we know there's over 60,000 chemicals that can just be in water alone, not just the world itself, but just in water. So reverse osmosis is your best bet. It filters out everything in your water. Now, the one I use automatically remineralizes it. That's what I like. So now I don't have to worry about adding the minerals back in. You can, you can add more pinch of sea salt or remineralizing minerals, ancient minerals, etc. All of that's great. I like that mine's added just back in. So I use a reverse osmosis under the sink water filter. And I can link that up today at episode 3045. And then of course, all my favorite resources are at stephencabral.com slash resources. So that's where everything is, all the companies, everybody I use. Okay. So next up though, I have my reverse osmosis. It comes up under the sink through what would be like the soap spout, right? And so that's where the reverse osmosis filter comes out. So now you just turn a little knob and that's your clean drinking water. But what I do is I do one more step. It's already remineralized, but then I run it now through what's called the Kangen K8. That is a hydrogen ionizer, sometimes called a molecular hydrogen ionizer. But what it does is it's not a great water filter. It only has a one stage water filter. So what I do is I run it through a four stage, a strong reverse osmosis water filter. It's remineralized and then it comes up and it goes through the Kangen K8. You might say, well, why are you using the K8? It took me, I literally did 18 months to two years of research on hydrogen water is it really beneficial? I didn't want to make the recommendation. I also didn't want one more thing in my house. That's the truth. I was like, I have water revitalizers, water spinners. I've got my Soma Vedic. I've got all these great things. I don't want one more thing. I really don't. But the truth is this. If you go to stephencabral.com slash hydrogen dash water, okay? stephencabral.com slash hydrogen dash water. And I'll link everything up at episode 3045 today. But I have over 30 research articles all PubMed based, all science direct, like all legitimate research, all on hydrogen water. There's literally almost no downsides, no downsides that I've seen. And it helps with everything from, well, let's put it this way. 
if anything has inflammation and oxidative stress or free, road, free radicals as an underlying part of its root cause, or at least coming from a root cause, it helps with that. Why? Hydrogen, which is already part of water, right? Hydrogen and oxygen make water. Well, when you add more hydrogen to the water, like a natural string, stream would have, right? If we were drinking water from nature, and no, unfortunately, spring water that's been bottled and shipped to you no longer has that level of hydrogen. Because you can see on that page, I went out and I tested. I bought my own uh, ORP meter. And I literally tested the ORP of bottled spring water, uh, even in glass. I tested tap water. I tested all different types. And I show you in the video. It's undisputable that really hydrogen added to your water is the healthiest form of water. It just is. And the reason is, and I'll share with you why, it has, it's non-oxidized water. It's one of the only waters that isn't adding more free radicals to your body. So when I saw that, I couldn't unsee it. I couldn't unknow it. And so now my preferred drinking water, it's actually very simple. I get rid of all bottled water, even bottled spring water. And all I do is I drink this hydrogen water now. That's it. So reverse osmosis to hydrogen water. Uh, I'll pop up right here. If my amazing video team is not already showing this, the Kangen K8 is what I use. Um, you can find a water ionizer that you like. I chose the K8 simply because it's been around the longest, 47 years. It is used in over 30 different hospitals uh, in Japan. It's used in cancer clinics around the world. I'm not saying that it's a cure for cancer, okay? I'm not making any medical claims or anything like that, right? But it does what it says that it's supposed to do. It is the only ion medical-based water ionizer in the world. So these are all things that I look for, and that's what I invest in. It's good for 25 to 30 years. That's essentially what I'm investing in. So this is what I'm going to be using now for the foreseeable future. A reverse osmosis under the sink, so it takes up no space on my counter, comes right up through the sink, attaches to my K8, and now I have pure drinking water that not only that, I can actually set the pH. So I don't want to get too deep into pH today. Maybe I'll do that in another Friday review. But essentially for humans, drinking water between 7.5 and 9.5, greatly absorbed by the body. For pets, 7.0. For your plants, about 7.0. That's a neutral pH. It's slightly acidic. And then it's um, 6.0 you can use for a facial toner. So there's some great uses to it beyond that, no doubt about it. But um, uh, very simply put, I drink about 8.5 water all uh, day long. Even with meals, it's not going to delete your, de I should say, deplete your stomach acid at 8.5. That is absolutely not true. There's many foods that you're eating that are 8.5. Um, so it's when you start using 11.5 or even nine and a half and above with meals that it might start to deplete it uh, to a degree. But that's just not going to happen. You can drink it away from meals or just do what I do and drink the 8.5, uh, which there's lots of value in as well. So I want to share that link with you. Uh, there's Literally, you can just read an entire page of scientific research and my videos on why I've made the switch to hydrogen water and why it may be worth looking into as well. That's just stephencabral.com slash hydrogen dash water. All right, let's get into our book review of the week. As I said, I have a 25,000, uh, 25,000, yes, it's condensed of 25,000 pages of, uh, of books and then 1,000 plus research studies into a about 9,000 word, 10,000 word, 25 page uh, article coming out very, very soon. I just want to make sure that all the links are working. Everything is there for you. And I'll share that in the next week or two on the podcast on the Friday Review. But I've shared many books on cancer before, all different um, modalities, all different uh, treatment plans, etc. One of the ones that I want to share with you that, I don't know, maybe I think, I think that maybe this book might be a good bridge for a lot of relatives who aren't in the natural health because it shares an integrative approach. It shares some pharmaceuticals that might be helpful. It shares natural health methodologies that might be useful. And it's only a couple hundred pages. Now, I agree with the majority of what is written in this book. There's no doubt about it. I don't think that it goes into, in my opinion, uh, as many natural health nutritional supplements, as many natural health modalities that I would use. And so I would go beyond this. But remember, there is no one book. 
that can give you everything you need. It's impossible, not 200 pages. It's literally impossible. And I think that now this book is written by Dr. Jonathan uh, Stiegel or Stiegel. I apologize again if there's any mispronunciation. But um, Dr. Stiegel is a medical doctor, University of Medical University of South Carolina, and uh, and is an integrative oncologist. And I think it's a very well written book. And I think that it has a place in most people's reading on an integrative approach to both natural and conventional cancer-based therapeutics. The book is called Cancer Secrets, an integrative oncologist reveals how you can defeat cancer using the best modern medicine and alternative therapies. Now, if you're looking at the copy I'm holding up right now, it's an ice cream cone with basically green veggies, a green apple, and uh, just two blues in there. It's two blueberries popping out. So this is an older cover. I, I've Again, I've been reading on natural cancer for... It's got to be at least 20 years, right? But I've never written a paper, never wanted to necessarily get into it. But this is a promise that I essentially, I said, all right, after I go through, I, I had a bunch of things that I wanted to get out into the world. The rain barrel effect was, of course, uh, the first one after the Cabral Concept podcast. And then I wanted to start doing live events. I want to start teaching other practitioners. There's just all these things that I wanted to do. Uh, I wanted to put out high performance health, adding a healthy 20 years to your life. And, and really now I'm saying, okay, I want to check the, the box and it's never done. Again, these things are never done. They'll be followed up on. But this is what I wanted to get out uh, in terms of cancer. So I've been reading for quite some time. This book came out in 2018, which is probably when I first read it. And I know that it has a second edition, which you're going to be able to pick up now as well. So again, uh, you can link up to this book. I'll put it at stephencabral.com slash 3045, an integrative oncology-based approach to cancer. And uh, this is by Dr. Stiegel called Cancer Secrets. All right, let's go over our research for the week. And research study number one, are bioplastics and plant-based materials safer than conventional plastics and in vitro toxicity and chemical composition study? Well, again, I wanna, I'm going to cut right to the chase, and I'm going to link up the study for you. It's a little dry, but certainly uh, if you are science-minded and you like to look at the research, you can. So they looked at samples containing um, 20,000 features, and about 100 different, 1,000 different chemical features total. And what they wanted to look at were synthetic polymers, and these are basically monomers, oligomers, any plastic-based additives, and then bioplastics. Because what they're looking at right now is they're saying, okay, can we look at creating plastics out of more organic-based material? Some of them more cordon starches, some of them more cellulose, et cetera. Unfortunately, as they are creating them into plastics, there is still toxicity. They are finding that they are not able to reduce the toxicity. So when they're looking at this right now, and the results are not great, they're looking at a basically pick them for what is truly better. So they need to highlight this much more in depth. They, I'm certainly not going to do human studies, hopefully, on this, uh, but this is in vitro. This is basically in the lab. They haven't done this yet that I've seen with uh, lab rats, but what they're finding right now is that these are still toxic. And what I want to share with you is this. It's like when we go back to BPA plastics. They're finding other plastics that they're just going to share with us 10 years from now are toxic as well. My recommendation is whenever possible, eliminate plastics in every facet of your life that you're able to. Try to reduce these phthalates in detergents, reduce the plastics in um, all plastics that you use, try to move more towards glass as best as you can reduce plastics from your life. If we start to see their bioplastics, if bioplastics are invented and they are going to be less toxic, I'll for sure bring that to you. But right now, they have not been able to do it. Unfortunately, I wanted, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but it does not look good. Switching to non-plastic alternatives is our best bet. All right. But in more positive news, a new study has come out. Well, newer study I will share with you. Uh, newer to, to our community, someone just sent me this, is that multivitamins in the prevention of cancer in men. So it looks like this is the second health study of a randomized controlled trial. And essentially, they looked at, I'll share the results, 
uh, during a median follow-up of 11.2 years. So again, the study is a decent length. There were 2,669 men with confirmed cancer, including 1,373 cases of prostate cancer and 210 cases of colorectal cancer. Compared to the placebo, men taking a daily multivitamin had a statistically significant reduction in the incidence of total cancer in the active and placebo multigroups. So comparatively speaking, they did better even than the placebo, 95% confidence rating. And uh, basically, there was what they're calling a modest but significant reduction in the risk of total cancer in men using a good multivitamin. So there are always going to be the naysayers that saying, you know, you shouldn't use nutritional supplements. You shouldn't, you know, multivitamins don't do anything. It's just simply not the case. If you are using a methylated daily activated multivitamin or something like the daily nutritional support, you're getting, you're getting all of the benefits because you're giving the body the nutrients that it needs. And I just want to share that with you. I'm not a believer in mega dosing nutritional supplements, but I am a believer in nutritional supplements, especially in this toxic world that we live in. It is our food components are just not going to give us enough of what our bodies need to combat all of the plastics, all of the phthalates, all of the polymers, like all of these things that are in our environment that continue to bombard us on a daily basis. So if we're not able to escape it, we at least need to fight back with a little bit of health and, and health aids. And those are nutritional supplements in our back pocket. So always use the best functional medicine company you like, of course, I'm going to keep formulating for Equal Life. If you choose Equal Life, great, you're, you're supporting what we do and our community. And if not, great, then support another company uh, that does functional medicine formulation, third party testing for you, your family, your loved ones. That's really what it's all about. So I'll link up this study as well as all the other notes from today at stephencabral.com slash 3045. Hopefully this was helpful. We'll be back tomorrow answering our community's questions. All right, take care, everybody. Have an amazing weekend. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.